record. There we go. Welcome to another episode of Blending the Family, the video, the podcast, the tip from the book, 25 Tips for Divorced Dads. Hi, my name is Tommy Maloney, and I am the host of the podcast, Blending the Family, and I'm also here on video for those who are watching on YouTube. And for those of you that are playing the, the, the home version of this game, as you can see behind me, unless you're listening to the podcast and you can't see this, on the ugly board over here, how to find me. Blendingfamily.com is the website. Blending Family and Blending Family are on Instagram and Twitter. And you can find me on YouTube at Blending the Family. Did I mention I'm Tommy Maloney? I think I did. How are you doing? You having a good day here in uh, Northern Colorado? Or actually, most of the state, I think we're getting some snow right now. Not as much here where I live. And that's Okay, I'm a little bummed because our puppy Otis, this would be his first time seeing snow. And how cool is that going to be? There you go. All right. From my first book, 25 Tips for Divorced Dads, this is actually tip number five. If you've been, again, following along, we've been doing uh, a, a tip a day. Now we're on to tip number five. And here we go. Tip number five make your time with them quality versus quantity you do not need to create an event just being with and talking to them is more vital than you will ever know and in my little notes section i put in here simple idea of making a gingerbread house i don't know if you're gonna make a gingerbread house uh, this time of year but here's the thing i put the gingerbread house in there because that's what my son connor and i would do around the holidays as we would get uh, a couple of gingerbread houses and we would just make gingerbread houses and th they would stay in the the, uh, the house for a while. I remember throwing them up I think in July. Anyway, so they, you, you don't have to have an event. By the way, blendingfamily.com. The hat. Well, not yet. Not on the website yet, but for those on the podcast, I'm pointing at my new Blending the family hat. Um, events. So it doesn't always have to be an event. And I get this from uh, somebody I used to know. We're not in touch anymore. But what this uh, guy would do is he would actually, uh, when he'd pick up his, his daughter, the first thing he would do is head over to the toy store. The very first thing. And I'm like, I, it, that, that to me that was not uh, that was not parenting that was bribing, and so doing things uh, as simple as just having lunch with them, bringing lunch to their school. Well, I don't know if you can do that now, but in the past I would do that, go stop at uh, whatever my son wanted, be it you know, a sub sandwich or a chicken sandwich from another place. And I'd bring it to school and we'd sit there in the cafeteria and just have lunch. And I always remembered that as a kid, there was a mom that would do that. And she wouldn't stay. She would actually just come by and, and bring her son McDonald's. And of course, we're all jealous because he's getting McDonald's. Little did we realize how unhealthy it was. But the point is, she was making that kind of effort. And so when I uh, was became a dad, that's one of the things I thought about doing was having lunch with my son. And, and it's fun. It's, it's, you, you get to be in their element. And again, it doesn't have to be, you know, a, a Broadway showcase event. It's just simply sitting down having lunch. Now with Older kids, if you live in the same area, you can have dinner together. Uh, my son and I, we've done that a couple of times where we've met halfway and we've had dinner together just hanging out. And it's fun because it's just the two of you having that moment. And again, it doesn't have to be something... Um, you know, like a circus, you know, you don't have to put up the big top, you just funnel it down, have fun with it. And so 
a couple of things I've been very blessed with because my son was playing travel hockey. And so when we would go out of state for tournaments, it would be he and I. And of course he'd hang out with his buddies at the team hotel, but it still would be he and I, this was, this was us. This was, you know, the, the boys weekend and creating memories that way. And so in that situation, yes, that's an event, but we were creating, you know, little things, just hanging out in the hotel room or uh, going to a grocery store and grabbing stuff and just, it's the little things in life, really. And so when I think about, you know, it's quality time and quantity time, you know, for me, the quality time is, is just sitting there being present, being in the moment with them. And so that's what tip number five means to me is just being present and being in the moment of, again, it doesn't have to be a big production. So there you go. So tip number five, again, make your time with them quality time versus quantity. And again, let me talk about the, uh, real briefly, the making of the gingerbread house, you know, find things that, I mean, I am not mechanically inclined. I mean, if, if you had ever seen those gingerbread houses, you would say they should, well, mine should have been condemned, you know? And so I am not mechanically inclined, but find things that, you know, you and your kids can do together. You know, I, I, from, I, I miss, I miss those days. I miss, you know, going to the local grocery store during the holidays and, and seeing the, the display of the gingerbread houses and, and, you know, grabbing a couple of boxes and just creating time together and, and moments together. And so, again, it doesn't, it, it doesn't have to be expensive. It's, maybe it's just walking to the park together. Maybe it's shooting hoops somewhere. Maybe it's just playing catch. Um, you know, just, just little things. So, so there you go. 25 Tips for Divorce Dads is the name of the book, and you can find that on Amazon and soon, soon an updated website, soon an updated website that I desperately need. Anyway, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching this. Please, I think I'm up to, as of uh, this, I'm up to 10 subscribers on YouTube, which that's fine. Right now, the downloads on the podcast are off the roof, off the chain, whatever the kids say today. I'm like, I'm, I'm so blessed. I love doing this. I really do. And so, so there you go. As my good friend, one, well, one day he'll be my good friend. And oh, by the way, I don't think I've done it. I am extremely sunburned. So for those of you on the podcast, unfortunately, I would go to the, this YouTube video and you can see how sunburnt I am. Uh, the wife and I went up to Breckenridge, Colorado uh, recently for the weekend and met up with some friends that we haven't seen in a, well, I haven't seen them in a while, uh, years, oh, gosh, it's been years, but, uh, the weather outside up in the mountains was so beautiful, so gorgeous. And, um, yeah, as you can see on the, on, on YouTube here, I did not wear any sunscreen and I just, uh, got a haircut on Friday. So I am, I am pre sunburnt. I am pre sunburnt. And I know you're saying, Tommy, that's a rocking hat. See, that's why you have to watch this on YouTube. Why weren't you wearing your rocking hat? I said, I don't know. I don't know. I should have been wearing the rocking hat. The blending of the family hat. Should have worn it. All right. Anyway, back to my dear friend. One day he'll be my dear friend, Terry Crews. And as Terry Crews said in this wonderful interview, your success is my success. 25 tips for divorced dads, tip number five. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great, awesome rest of your day, starting your day, or just chilling, chilling. Have a great day. Gotta hit the stop.